Correlation and regression. Let's take a look at finding residuals. Given uh, these, these values for x and y, let's find the residuals that go along with them. So I'm going to go input those into the calculator first. Now you want to be in your application library. So if you're not already there, push your apps button. And we want to go into the statistics to var. So if it isn't already highlighted, press your arrow keys to get over to it and press enter. In C1, we're going to put our x values, which are 1 through 7. So do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5, 6, and 7. <clears throat> then I'm going to right arrow over to C2, and I'm going to put my y values in here. So I got 12, 31, 45, 46, 51, 55, and 73. <clears throat> now let me double check my numbers. Okay. Now to get that in, um, remember you can get R by going to your, um, uh, what was it, stats, and uh, changing the column to two columns. And that gives you your R. You can get your uh, regression equation remember by going to your your symbolic view and making sure that's c1 c2 and that says linear and then that'll give you your your um regression equation okay now that that's all all in there and so forth i'm going to press my home button and i want to choose my toolbox and i want to um math is probably already highlighted you want to come over and click uh, app and you see uh, statistics two var at the top. I press my right arrow key to go over. And you see the third one is residual ID. Um, or res ID. Um, that's our residuals. So to choose it, I'll press three. And uh, then you need to tell it of what. So um, there's a uh, button here that says vars. So if I choose that, then I can choose statistics two var. Go down to Symbolic, right arrow over, and we want to choose S1. And press Enter, and press Enter again. Now these are residuals, and a little bit hard to see. You have to see where the comma is to where the new one starts. I'm sure there's probably a really slick way to dump that into like C3. Um, but um, I'm definitely not a expert at the HP Prime. I'm just uh, trying to show you enough to... Um, do some of the basics in uh, statistics. In uh, T the TA3, TA4, which is what I teach with, you'd like go to a store and then you store it into the uh, value. But I don't see a store here. Uh, let me look real quick. Um, probably should have done that before I started the movie, but uh, oh well. Uh, let's see. Enter EX. Hmm. No, I don't see a store anywhere. Um, oh, huh, store. So I'll do the store there, and let me choose VARs, and uh, statistics to VAR, um, let's see, I'm looking for C3, by numeric, oh, there it is, okay, so let's dump that into C3, see if that works, uh, so I press enter, I'm learning myself, and press enter, okay, now let's go back to the numeric view, so I press this numeric. Ah, I did put them in there. How, how cool. Um, anyway, those are our residual IDs. Or residual ID. Why do I keep saying that? Those are our residuals. So those would be your answers. Now, um, when we were over, I pressed the home. When we did uh, this, we did S1. That S1 refers to, if I push this, the symbolic view, you see how it says S1 here? So if I had chose S2, then I'd want to put S2 in, or S3, and so forth. To um, get out of this, you just press your apps, and that returns you back to this library. In this video, we took a look at how to find the residuals on an HP uh, Prime uh, graphing calculator.